Well, you can't do much in data science without data, so let's take a look at loading data from a CSV file with pullers. To start with, we're going to import two modules, the pathlib module to handle file paths and pullers, which we'll call PL. This is the path to our CSV file. The data is a time series of Apple stock prices. Now, the most important point to understand in this video is that there are two different modes to read CSV files with Polars. The first mode is called Eager Evaluation. In this mode, Polars reads the full CSV file straight away, just like Pandas. The second, and more powerful mode, is called Lazy Evaluation. In this lazy mode, Polars doesn't read the CSV file straight away. Instead, it will wait until you've built out your query to see if you can optimize the data load from the CSV file. We'll begin by looking at eager evaluation with the read CSV function. This works in much the same way as reading a CSV file in Pandas, where you run the code and Polars reads the CSV file straight away. As with Pandas, you can pass a variety of options to the read CSV function. For example, by default, Polars doesn't try to infer daytime columns unless you tell it to do so. You can see here that the dates have been read in as strings. We can instead pass the parse dates option so that the dates are read in as date types. For the rest of this video though, we'll introduce the lazy evaluation mode along with its query optimization. To use the lazy evaluation mode, you use the scan CSV function instead of the read CSV function. Scan CSV returns a Polar's lazy frame object instead of a Polar's data frame. If we print the DF object, we see that it returns a query plan instead of a data frame. We'll be looking at these query plans in more detail later on. The only data that Polars has read from the CSV in this lazy evaluation mode is the header row, so we can print the column names. Just as with eager evaluation, we can pass arguments here to tell Polars how to handle different cases, such as daytime columns with parsed dates. Now, when we want to trigger evaluation and read from the CSV, there are two ways we could do this. Sometimes we just want to read a subset of the CSV file. In this case, we call the fetch method on the lazy frame, along with an n rows parameter. This tells Polars to read the first n rows of the CSV file into memory. This mode is handy during development and debugging. Otherwise, we want to read the entire CSV file. In this case, we call the collect method on the lazy frame. This tells Polars to read the entire CSV file into memory. In this lazy evaluation mode, Polars has built in query optimization to reduce the amount of data read into memory. In this first example, we tell Polars to filter the data so that only rows with data from 26 onwards are read. We use the describe optimize plan method to see how the query optimizer handles this filtering. This query plan shows us that Polars will scan the CSV line by line. Polars will load the data from all seven columns, but it will only load a row into the data frame if the date matches our condition. In the next example, we use the select method to tell Polars that we only want two of the seven columns. In this case, we see that Polars will only read these two columns from the CSV file into the data frame. We can compare this optimized plan with the naive plan without the query optimizer. In this case, the entire CSV file is read into memory before removing all but the two columns specified. To finish off, I'm going to give you a preview of where this amazing combination of lazy evaluation and query optimization will take us. In this query, we want to get the annual average of the closing price. To do so, we have to scan the CSV, sort the unordered date column, do a temporal group by on the date column before taking the mean of the closing price. We'll go over group by in more detail elsewhere, but what I want to point out is this part of the optimized query plan. Without any effort from us, Polar sees that it only needs to read the date column and the closing price column from the CSV. 
This is an example of how Polars not only executes faster than a library like Pandas, but also reduces the effort required to write performant code. So that's our quick introduction to reading CSV files of Polars, where we saw how its lazy evaluation mode allows it to carry out CSV reading in an optimized manner.